Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So in today's episode we are finishing off the TT. Um, it's been a long old program but I think we're now at a point where that car is good to go. So we're going to be doing the roof on the car, painting the roof would you believe, getting it restoring the colour. So uh, I'm going to show you that process and then we're going to be dressing underneath the um, bonnet. So putting back all the trim and using some um, ionizer uh, clips to just finish it off. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get on with what we're getting on with today. Okay, so I've been driving the car around, just checking it out and making sure everything's okay. But there's one job that I wanted to do on this car and it's to do with the roof. Now, the roof is in all right condition. It's in pretty good condition but we can make this better. And it's all about that curb appeal when we come to sell it. And literally, this car will go out for sale in a couple of weeks, it's got what I'm gonna to do today to be done on it. And then it's going in the body shop to get this painted. Yes, I've decided to put it into the body shop to tidy it back up, get it done professionally. And they're also gonna do the seal as well because it's got a little bit of rust there. And I want it to get it done properly. Right, so here, these, it's in good condition. There's no tears or anything in the hood. It's just really dirty. Now I've cleaned it with uh, hood cleaner, but it's still very um, stained. So what I have got, I have got somewhere, he says, here we go. So we've got this stuff here. It's called Fabric Coat, and it's a Fabric Coat color from um, Furniture Clinic, the same people who I use to get do the seats. Now, as you can see, the seats are looking fantastic. They look like brand new, and there's the other one that I did off camera. And in fact, the whole interior of this car is just looking brilliant. And I just felt that to do this roof, it would really finish things up nicely and uh, it just adds to that curb appeal of what we're trying to do to get the car to get a quick sell and also to get top dollar for it. Now, how this works? Well, it's quite simple really. You just paint it on and that is it. Now, you can buy this in kit form. I haven't bought it in kit form. I've just bought the actual 500 mil, uh, two 500 mil bottles of the kit. So I'm gonna paint it with a roller in a kit you get like a, a pad like this to pad it on and a brain paintbrush. I'm gonna use a roller, see how we get on with that. Now this is completely water-based, so if you get any on the bodywork, it will come off really easy. So let's see how we get on. We're gonna do like a touch down here just to see how she looks and, um, and then we'll compare. So we'll do this bit and then we'll compare it to that. Or we might do this bit and compare it to that. Either way, we'll do a comparison. Okay, so that's the first coat done. In fact, we might just get away with one coat because we're not changing the color. It's literally just black. So we'll, we'll let that dry. It'll probably take about an hour to dry and then we'll see how it looks and see if it needs a second coat. But with the roller, it's gone on pretty well. And I used, I changed my roller to a sponge roller in the end because the sponge roller just works better. But I am so far very impressed. It's difficult to see this in the camera, but trust me, it looks a million times better and it's now uniform, one color and not patchy like it was before, but we'll see how it dries. Right, let's now go to the bonnet. Okay, so we are pretty much finished with down here. This car is now, it's time to get it back together. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all the plastics that we took off here, we're gonna put them back, but instead of using the 
plastic trim that came with it we're going to replace it with some ionized red metal ones i picked red because it goes with the uh rocker cover and the air filter so let's uh get that back in place we get the plastics out probably give them a little bit of a clean and then um, put them back in place okay so this is the kit that I bought. I'll put a link down below so you can see where to get these from. Very simplistic. You get these screws. They screw into the original hole. So like this hole here, it basically will cut into that hole like that. Then you get one of these nuts here. That goes in along with the red ionized washer. And that is it. So it's three holes, one there, one here and then one here and then the same on the other side and once you put those in you can then put the trim back in and then that finishes it off nicely and then for the top there you can either use your original screws or you do get some lug nuts to go with them so I think I'm not sure the original screws do they fit just check yeah the original screws fit so no point changing that We'll just use the original ones. Right, let's get that on. And um, this is a six mil hex nut to get that in. In case you wanted to know. Look at that. Doesn't that look much better? Much better than the stock. Really sets it off. So that is now the engine bay complete and all readdressed. Perfect. Right, let's see how the roof is looking. Yep, it's drying off very well. It's been about half an hour now, but Already it's looking much better than it did. So very pleased with that. Will it need a second coat? I don't think it will actually. I don't think it will. But we'll come back in the morning and see how she looks. The next morning. Okay, so it's the next day now. The roof is dried and I am really impressed with the way this came out. It just looks fantastic. It looks like a brand new roof and it only cost me 20 pounds to do. Now, Furniture Clinic do do a kit and the kit is about 50 pounds. I didn't buy the kit because I had um, the Auto Gleam um, kit, which is the Restorer. Um, but when I had a look at the hood and the condition of it, I decided to um, get the dye to paint it. So yeah, it's come off really good. So we've got one more thing that we need to do now, and we need to seal this roof. So we'll do that, and I'll show you what we're gonna to use to do that. So we're gonna be using this Auto Glean Soft Top Protector. Now I've chosen this because it has a long life on the vehicle. Um, normally lasts about four months in between treatments. Now, ordinarily what you would do is you would dampen the roof, and I may just do that beforehand. Then of course you just spray this on, and then that is it, you let it dry, and. Bob's your uncle, or maybe he's not. So we're gonna dampen the roof and then we'll get this, uh, get it protected. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then we've got one other job to do on this roof. Now it does actually say in the instructions not to do it in direct sunlight. And although today is sunny, it's not really that bright. And the sun is not that powerful. So hopefully that sh should be okay. But more than early, when it's hot and sunny, you would do this in the shade. Okay, now the problem that we need to fix next on this car is that there is water coming into the car. And I know where that water is coming in from 
it's coming in through this drain hole here so on the TT if you didn't know on the Roadster there are two drain holes that the car has and what happens is that when it rains the water runs down the actual canvas from the outside runs in this track here and then down here there's a little gap in between and there's a pipe and that pipe runs in the car and then down and out here and then drains out behind the shielding what tends to happen is those shieldings get blocked so what we're going to see if we can unblock it because what i noticed was a week or so when it was raining heavily there was a massive pile of water just sitting there in the vehicle i tried to show you last week um but it just sits there so we're going to see if we can drain it so we'll have to fill it first and then we'll see if we can drain it now when all new what happens is that that will fill up overflow and then it comes into the back of the car and then drains onto the carpet which is what's been happening here so by clearing the hole we should be okay let's see if we can do that right so we're under the wheel what i've done they've just propped up the lining and here is a drain hole for the um the runner the water run so the pipe runs down there like we said here's a drain hole and if i just get the screwdriver here you can see it's just full of crud look at that look at all that coming out so it's blocked up really with just a whole lot of debris so what we need to do see if we can flush this out without damaging it because these things are delicate and they do perish and i don't want this to perish because that means me spending more money all right so we'll get a, a long line and we'll see if we can uh, flush that out right so all of that came out and this spring as well and i'm not sure if this spring was supposed to be in there but it was all clogged up so i literally just turned it out and when i did that all of that came out with it i suspect that this will probably need to be replaced but at this stage it's clear so um let's put the wall back on right okay so that is it with the tt it's pretty much done now it is there is one more job that needs to be done it's going to go into the body shop next week um we're going to have the back done and the side done just the um the lower uh sill because it's beginning to rust and it just finishes the car off so we're getting that done and then you'll see it we'll take it for a, a little run next week we kind of will be starting project garage but before i start project garage let me know if you're interested in seeing that so we're going to be knocking down some walls making it bigger getting a ramp in actually we're not going to be putting a ramp in what we're going to be putting in instead is a scissors lift and the reason being is that all the benefits of a ramp will be completely lost in my garage because my garage is 2000 it's 2.3 meters high and that means that the average car will only be able to lift it a meter so there's no point having a um, two post lift if i can only lift it a meter better to have a scissors jack and because they normally have only a meter uh, height um uh, well they'd normally go up to about a meter so i've got a couple of those but again tell me what you think in the comments so two things for you to uh, comment about today let me know if you want to see project garage if you don't i'll have to find something else but project garage is going to last about three or four weeks um and yeah it'd be interesting or you might just want to see the results but if you don't either way let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about the scissors jack lift idea it's really just to get the car high enough to do some servicing underneath it i've got this great seat that basically you sit down upright like this but right down on the ground which means you can do whatever you need to do under the car it's pretty much the same as sort of standing up and and, and doing that um but yeah and also let me know what you think about the painting of the roof of the car it literally cost me 19 pound to do this and i went down that route because i had the auto gleam roof cleaning kit which comes with a sealer as well so it was just getting the paint. Now I got that from Furniture Clinic. Furniture Clinic do like a a pack. They do um, a kit, um, and I think it's around fifty quid. But the Auto Gleam uh, roof protector has got quite long um, longevity, which, which what I mentioned in the video. So that's the reason why I went down this route. In fact, it was it was that cheaper as well. So yeah, and you can change the color as well. 
Um, I went through about a bottle and a half. So I had two 500 ml bottles. I went through about 750 ml. If you were changing the color, you probably go through the whole two bottles. You probably, probably need a liter and a half just to make sure you get the proper coverage. But it's the same stuff that you would use um, to cover the fabric. So yeah, so it does look much better. And the car is now ready. So that is it. As always, don't forget to subscribe down here, click on the bell notification so you're notified whenever we um, release some new content. We, it's been a bit slow this year. I do appreciate it and I apologize that it has, but I promise you that things will start to pick up. Um, like I said, we do have a new car, but I'm waiting for Project Garage to finish before we reveal the new car. So if you're wondering why haven't you seen a new car, um, that's the reason why get project garage done so we get a proper equipped garage then we bring on the new car and get that sorted it's not a salvage car though yeah so look forward to that guys have a great one we'll see you on the next one